Now let's see how we can optimize the short circuit power or how we can separate the short circuit power. So as I said, when the input voltage at inverter, let's take example of inverter circuit again here. When the input voltage of inverter is between threshold voltage of NMOS and VDD minus V threshold voltage of FEMOS transistor, in that particular case, there will be a time where both NMOS and FEMOS transistors are on and we will have a large current spike in the circuit. So now let's understand with one scenario. If, if the load capacitance is very large, if we have very large load capacitance, that means the charging and discharging of the this output node is slow. And the fall time, if, if that means the fall time of this node is also very slow. So let's assume that this is our input and there is a, so, so the input is going from low to high. That means the output will go from high to low and our this load capacitance is very large. So the discharging of this load capacitance is going to be very slow. So the discharging will happen like this here, right? So here, if you see when the input voltage is going from zero to low, the output voltage is basically taking some time before it going from high to low because of large capacitance at the output load. That means if you see at this point, this is the output load voltage and so this is basically nothing but the source voltage of the PMOS transistor. And what is the drain voltage? This is nothing but VDD. And this voltage starting it, this is also close to VDD. So both the voltage are kind of same. That means there is not going to be any current flow through this. If there is no current flow through this, there won't be any current flow through this as well. That means we, we will have no or very less short circuit power. So this is one scenario where capacitance is very large here. But if the capacitance is very large here, that will definitely redu reduce our short circuit power. But the transition time is going to be large here. That is not expected in VLSI designs. So this is a drawback of large capacitance load. Now let's assume that the load capacitance is very small. If the load capacitance is very small, then the full time of the the output node of this circuit is also going to be very less if the fall time is also going to be very less then if you see the input voltage is going from low to high here and this is the output voltage which is sharply going low it is sharply approaching to zero so there can be a time where the drain voltage is the drain voltage is again going to be vdd but the output that the source voltage is going very sharply to zero so the input voltage is still rising but the output this uh, as soon as it, the input voltage reaches to with uh, threshold voltage of and most this transistor will become on and because of very low very very less load capacitance this capacitance will be discharged fastly that means the voltage here will come at zero that means this total voltage will become VDD minus zero. That means across VDD. So if the drain and source voltage is going to be a, a kind of VDD, then there will be a current following through this PMOS transistor. So that current will be nothing but our short circuit current. And that will that case will happen when this scenario will happen when the input is still rising and input has not reached till VDD minus VTP such that this transistor is completely off but before that and after the threshold voltage has just of the NMOS transistor because of the small load capacitance this load this, this node has discharged quickly and it has caused a short circuit between the VDD and ground. So now guys we have to remember here if we take a large capacitance load that means it will definitely help to reduce our short circuit but it will have the large transition delay and if your load capacitance is very small the, the output node will get discharged quickly and it will cause the short circuit power dissipation so we have to make sure that our rise and fall delay or the capacitance effect at input and output are almost equal so in that particular case there will be there will be uniformity between the input and output so as soon as so 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 the way the input rises in the same way the output will also fall and it will have reduced short circuit power effect the vdd is such that with threshold voltage of nmos and v threshold voltage of pmos if vdd is less than this 
these two voltage combined voltage then the short circuit power can be eliminated because this condition now this this conditions will become invalid if our vdd is this one so guys hope this short circuit power dissipation and how it can be suppressed is clear